Hi and welcome, it's Ruth here at artfulstamping.co.uk Welcome to another tutorial about stamping Sorry, I'm saying that like I don't usually stamp Sometimes I don't stamp, I did a very little stamping yesterday uh, But today is going to be a lot about stamping So I um, hope you guys are well um, I'm just calling up my device so that I can read your comment Oh, I forgot to put the sound up and um right let's get on let's do some stamping okay i've done a little bit of preparation already i've got my 12 by 12 piece of cardstock here um oh i have to lift this up a little bit higher so that you can see it all there we go um i've got my 12 by 12 piece of cardstock here and i've already masked out across in the middle there I'm going to take my bracelet off because it's going to get on my nerves. Okay, so I'm not quite sure um, exactly what I'm going to do. I, I think I want to do a wreath and then I also want to do things coming away from the cross and then we'll pull off the mask and, and see what happens. Um, Esther was just having a bit of a chat to you guys. So my sister is Stampin' Star Creations and she was just done a live asking people for some ideas and someone said that they'd like some more ideas with Inspiring Iris. So I'm gonna use that tonight. And then I've grabbed a couple of other stamp sets as well that I think might be uh, somewhat fun to use. And we're gonna see what happens. It's all a little bit intriguing, isn't it? When it comes to this stage and you have a blank piece of paper, I'm not quite sure where it's gonna go. And I don't know what colours yet as well, so, hmm, I uh, definitely want some kind of brown, and then maybe some nice bright-ish colours, um, or do we go muted? I don't know, look at that, um, We'll start with that, and then I also want it to be quite symbolic of Easter, so I want to get in here some thorns and some drops of blood and that kind of stuff. So yeah, we'll, we'll see see what happens. So I'm wondering whether with the branch here to create a kind of a ring of this going all the way around and I'm going to see if I can slightly bend the branch so, so that it's slightly curved oops you know what I'm going to give it a clean because sometimes if the stamp isn't super duper clean it doesn't hold on as well so give that a clean give my block a bit of a clean as well so I'm just concentrating doing that okay I think I'm done right hello everybody who's here Kay, Amy, Wanda, Steph, Betty, Anna, April, Cindy, Janice Connie, Troy's mum, Suzanne, Cindy. Oh, <laughs> cool. Is it a nice day out, Cindy, where you are? So this piece of cardstock is soft sea foam and it's a 12 by 12. Now, did you know you can buy the collections of colours in 12 by 12 pieces of cardstock. So if you're scrapbookers, this is welcome news for us scrapbookers because it's nice to be able to have the, the card in that this size, this configuration. So I'm wondering what about just going round that section there with the, we'll go around this section here. Oh. See this is always the the bit where it's like, oh, not quite sure. Hold on, I've got something underneath there. Let 
Okay, this is when you have to make sure that your table is completely clean. I could feel bits under it. Right, much better. See, there's still another. Oh, it's a pearl stuck to that. <laughs> right, sorry about that. Hi Navarana. Hi Gloria. Oh wow, Easter Sunday birthday. Yeah. That's jammy for you this year. Okay, so I'm just layering up this section. Okay, that's a quite like that. And then I'm just going to grab out the other little branch here and just have a look to see if I want to add any extra pieces. Oh, purple's a good idea. Yes, Connie. Thank you. I'm just going to add these extra pieces. Now, I have said this to you before. With this branch here, because it's got a gap in it, sometimes I like to use it where I just use the second portion of it. And let me get you right in for this. If you stamp it so it's connected to a previous branch, it looks like it's carrying on. And this is a great way to kind of fill in any gaps that you've got. So see here that this looks like it's starting in midair. So look, I can kind of hide that by stamping and connecting that section there. Okay, so just look for those kind of like weird bits that are hanging Hi Gina. Okay, there we go. Done. Oops. Now I did get out this stamp here because it's got some lovely lines and I'm wondering whether or not to create rays kind of coming from this section here. So I'm going to get out all the line stamps and see how that looks. Oh, how exciting, Anna. Parcels arriving and you don't know what's in them. Do you have a wish list? Hi, Wendy. Okay, Daffodil Delight. 
So I'm thinking these are like rays of glory, like glory of Jesus. I always like to represent that when I'm doing something Eastery. So. Now it's not showing up very strong because it is Daffodil Delight on soft sea foam, so. But I'm hoping that the more that I stamp, build up the texture, the more it will show up eventually. I don't know if you guys can see that. I might need to go in with something a bit brighter or darker. Um, okay. I think what about with some crushed curry? I think we need something a little bit darker. Oh, that's exciting, Anna. No worries, Esther. I could just feel myself getting sleepier and sleepier as you were chatting. It's like, oh, I need to go on. <laughs> Oh, that's better. You can. That's showing up much better now. So when you stamp things like this, they're a little bit more symbolic. It's it's nice just to perhaps put some music on, and make it a kind of devotional, meditative thing to do. Put some Easter music on, you know. Um, so it actually becomes something meaningful so you can actually think about what you're stamping and what it means to you so. oh well done Subo that means that you get an additional 5% off your um your discount. So this is just a couple of, I think it's just sort of two lines this design, but they're very very close together. Oh good Deborah. Right, let's move on. So I definitely wanted a few flowers. So, now I need to decide, am I going to do flowers kind of more round the base like here I also got I wanted to put some palm leaves in but I want them to be quite subtle so I'm wondering whether to stamp that in soft sea foam just over the top of this now Let's see if it will show up with the soft sea foam ink itself. I 
Okay, it is really, really subtle. So I'm sorry you guys might not be able to see see it, but I think I'm really happy with it. I don't want it to be any more darker than this. Can you see it just barely there? Hi Susan. I did think as I was getting the colour out, I wondered, oh, what about some basic, not basic, some smoky slate or something like that. But I, no, I think I'm happy. It's um, nice and subtle. Oh, I could put some palm, I know what, I could do some leaves down at the bottom. Yeah, it might need re-inking, to be honest, yep. Let's have a check. This is the way I check. Yeah. Uh, mm. Oh, the colour is there. Yeah. Hi, cat. <laughs> right, then I was thinking about, I do want something to represent the blood of Christ. And I was thinking of some sort of drops on there. So, oh, and I've got some little hearts as well. So I'm wondering if some little red, red hearts and things. I'm kind of skipping to the sprinkles already. I know I haven't finished this section here, but um, while I'm thinking about it, I'm just going to do it. Obviously hearts to represent the love of God in sending Christ Jesus. So funny, Wendy. <laughs> oh, now do I want the dots as well? I forgot about the dots. Yes, it is meant to look like a crown of thorns. I'm going to do the flowers kind of down here. I think I want it. I did. I do want it to look like. Thorns, Tina. What's th what's the hymn that the line um, "Mercy and love flow mingled" down? Um, um, uh, da, 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 da. Oh, it's usually used as a communion hymn. Da, 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 da. No. Oh, I know it so well. <laughs> but the beginning line has gone out of my head. Mercy and love flow mingled down. 
Yeah, there's that one as well, a sacred head. Yes, Deborah. No, I wasn't that wasn't the one I was thinking of. So rich a cram. Oh, Esther, come on, Esther knows it. Yeah, there is the old rugged cross one as well. Yep. That's not the one I was thinking of, but. I need to re ink this, I think. Did Cindy? Are you talking about? Oh, go to dark Gethsemane. Uh, and that's not the one I was thinking of. Yeah, I will be sponging as well. Oh, that's okay, Anna. Um. Right, so now I want to fill this in. Now someone said coral. And I'm thinking coral as well, that would be nice. I think it's not too dark. But irises aren't usually coral, are they? So I'm wondering whether to do the irises in yellow and then do some coral flowers afterwards. What do you think? Mm. Some crushed curry. Okay, so I'm going to try and line this up now. I'll make sure I got it the right way round and I had it the wrong way round then. Now I think these aren't meant to completely match up. They're meant to look kind of, you know, watercolory. So A pale mauve for the irises. Yeah, too late now. Um, yeah, I might come back in and colour in the centres with some a purple. That might be nice. Yeah, we get different coloured irises as well. Is it when I survey the wondrous cross? When I survey the wondrous cross On which the Prince of Glory died My richest gain I can count but loss And poor content on all 
Now, I was thinking of doing that section there in purple. His hands, his feet. So, if I get purposes. So, blood flow mingled down. Did there such love? And sorrow meet or thorns compose so rich a crowd. Were the whole realm? <laughs> oh, no, that's funny. Were the whole realm? Of nature mind that were an offering far too small. Uh, what's the next bit? Love, love, love was so amazing, so divine. Demands my soul, my life, my all. Yeah, that hymn is so old that it's in um, public domain. It's a very, very old hymn. So I should be okay. What um, what could your short character, Anna? Do you do like role play stuff? Okay, I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. I'm very carefully just inking up the green and then grabbing a little bit of the purple just on that section, for that section there. And then when I'm going to re-ink, I'm just cleaning off that purple so that... Um, I'm not contaminating my ink pads. It's kind of worth it. Oh, now I'm just about to stamp this green and I'm realising it's going to cross over a little bit there. So I'm just going to give that a little wipe. So make the stamps work for you. Just because it's there doesn't mean you have to stamp it, if that makes sense. Oh, <laughs> got that a bit wrong. Never mind. Oh, that's funny, Anna. Yes, you can use your blending pen, yeah, to take off ink if needs be. Yeah, that's the other option. But I've got my little cloth here, so that's working just as well. Oh, I forgot to clean that bit off, but never mind. Let's see if I can get a second generation bit off that. Yeah! Oh, I like that. Okay, so now... I want to have some other flowers creeping up and around here too. Oh, that's fascinating, Anna. Ah, 
So do you do your own weaving? Right, where have I put the stamp set? Oh, there. Since I started cleaning out, cleaning at spurts, I found three containers of the old Stampin' Up! watercolour crayons. I forgot how you love them. Ah, cool. Oh, wow, you demonstrate tablet weaving, hand spinning and nail binding. Brilliant. So do you go to various events to do that? So I want a few of these flowers here. Here, and then maybe have some creeping up there or oh, I don't know whether to go for something a bit smaller Right. Now, do you think this is gonna? I'm whether, wondering whether or not just to forget the lines, forget the line drawing, because that's just gonna clash, isn't it, with the existing thorns? Right, let's leave that there. Let's get the Calypso Coral and the Petal Pink. And I might just raid my stash to see if I've got some smaller flowers. Okay, so this is Petal Pink. I'm just going to see how it shows up, if at all. Oh, it does a little bit, but not a lot. See, the other option is that I go for doing the flowers more on the border of the crown. Mm, okay, I'm just going to go for it. Have it cross over just a little bit. Okay, that's not too bad. Hi Monica. So for those of you who might be wondering, this is not a one sheet wonder, it's not going to get cut up. This is what a one piece, like home decor piece that will get hung up in my home for Easter.
Oh, I can imagine how it could, yeah, it could get quite painful. <laughs> Anna. Anna's saying that she got hurt in the uh, reenactments. Even the... Is this, are there the same rules for sort of medieval reactments as there are for things like um, cosplay? Like cosplay stuff, you're not meant to have proper weapons and things. They're all supposed to be fake. Uh, inspiring Iris. Deborah? This one here. Yep. Okay, so let's go back in with this peachy colour now. I might change my mind and start using the Calypso Coral. Or I may just stick with this for now and then come in with some other colours. Sorry, another stamp, a smaller stamp and do some Calypso Coral. Oh, some do fight with sharp things. Ah. What are you asking, Wanda? Oh, the water, about the watercolour pencils. What, the old watercolour pencils? Or watercolour crayons? From way back when. Okay, so we've got this image here that colours in the leaves. Oh yes, forget-me-not type. Ah. Oh, let me pull out and then you can see a bit better. There we go. So it's got a masked cross on here at the moment that will come off once everything's finished. <coughs> oh, I need another cup of tea. So I'm doing second generation on the inside of the closest to the cross so that it's not so dark. I don't know why I've done that, I just have. Sometimes these things happen and just go with it. Yeah, Deborah, that's Will and I was singing. You've been googling Deborah to try and find the words. Okay, I've forgotten the peachy ones of that. I'll just go back and do that. Right, so I need to have a little think about some smaller florals. Just have a quick look on my shelf. Um, Oh, 
I wonder if that smaller tulip might work. Or... I don't think that's small enough, is it? That might be nice in a yellow, but I still need some small flowers to stamp over the top. Like these tiny, like, bell ones. That one. Beautiful friendship. Is there a small flower in beautiful friendship? I don't think this one's small enough. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's not on my shelf. Uh. <laughs> Where's it gone? Oh, it's not on my shelf. <laughs> How did that happen? Oh, the little double bud. Yes. Yeah, you're right, Sheena. Well, it's not on my shelf. I don't know where it is. I'm just going to hide, tuck some of these little tulips. No, that's too... I think that's too pale. Look at me, says Esther. Yeah, Esther's got every other of my stamp sets that I don't have right now. The stack to my left. No. No. This is very nice, it's very subtle, these little flowers. And I'm not doing second generation because it's not dark enough. I'm really pushing quite firmly. Can you see it's very subtle, it is there. It's filling in some spaces. Exactly. You see, she's really fortunate that I visited her just before the lockdown because I can't come to her house and get it. Okay, I'm just using the texture. You're not really going to be able to see that this is a flower, but I'm just using it to fill in the space next to the masked area so that it's got more yellow on there. Okay, right. Oh, do I need to do another couple down here? Okay, that'll be it. Right, where's my calypso? There it is. So now, so sorry this is quite stamp heavy, this piece. But I do know some of you have got a lot of stamps. So, you know, they are meant to be used. Dig them out, see what you can do with it. Um, you could, if, if you haven't got 12 by 12, just use your standard letter size or A4, whatever you've got. Okay, so this is that really gorgeous little sort of um, bell-like flowers. You see that? There we go. And this is, just makes a really nice kind of like sprinkle of flowers. And it looks quite dark at the moment, the Calypso coral, but I know it will dry a little bit lighter.
there we go and what it is it, quite interesting is stamping with color onto a colored piece of cardstock it kind of it, you know it does change it a little bit but I think this will calm down a little bit once it's dry because at the moment it's kind of competing a bit with the poppy parade I used earlier but it's okay um, I'm wondering whether to use the same stamp but in the crushed curry and do some crushed curry around here because I don't really want this colour to compete with the hearts that I've got up there so if I go for a slightly lighter shade but is darker than the tulips let's put some of these little flowers up here now yeah that's working Yeah, it's interesting how we think of certain colours as, sorry, certain flowers as certain colours, even though, yeah. And I think it depends what part of the world you come from, that that's what you get introduced to as children. And you know. Oh, now somebody said something about forget-me-nots, and that would be lovely, just to have a little hint of blue in here, um, and a little bit either blue or purple to hint at the, I guess, the kingship aspect of Christ you know blue is usually associated with royalty isn't it and purple so and purple was a hard cloth to come by wasn't it okay there we go um, Where is that little flower there? Oh, let me have a quick look on my shelf. I don't know if this is going to be too big. This one. No, you know what? I think that would be perfect. Now I need to choose a blue that is going to show up, but yet yeah, it's not going to overpower. So shall we? We can audition these. We've got balmy blue and a seaside spray. And I think we need to flick that over and test them out. Let's see what we think. Yeah, Seaside Spray is a bit more of a, what I call a dusky blue, whereas Balmy is, has slight yellower tones to it. Oh, I don't know. Look at that. I thought I thought seaside, and then I quite like the brightness of the balmy, because this is seaside spray card. Remember, so I think I'm going to go with balmy. You know, because I like the brightness of it. Ah, Navarana says the first one. <laughs> Why, Navarana? Give me your reasons. The one on the left is more green. Yeah, possibly. Oh, go on, you've changed my mind. <laughs> okay, let's get you in for this. Yeah, it's no, this cardstock is pale green, it's seaside spray. Oh, 
Okay, so now at this point, I'm sort of looking for gaps in the work. Good morning, Vanessa. How are you? And how's your hubby? This actually reminds me of a page out of a Brambley Hedge book. I'm sure I've spoken about Brambley Hedge before on here. It's a children's book by a British author and artist called Jill Barklam. Yes, soft sea foam. Why, what, did I say something else? Sorry, did I confuse everybody by calling it something else? Okay. Right, are we done? You see, now I've got out beautiful bouquet, I'm wondering if I just need a few little sprinkles of this, just because I love it, okay? I, I just cannot help myself, whenever I get this stamp set out, I have to use this little stamp, because I love it so much. Uh, so, yeah, it's because I'm a bit obsessed, Subo. <laughs> uh, oh my gosh, I love it. Look, just nestled in there. It's like a little seed pod escaped. Isn't that adorable? <laughs> Enthusiastic, oh yeah. Oh yeah, stamping up on the, the demo area of the website. They've done a countdown for the next catalogue. For I'm um, sorry, not, not that when it's going to be available, but when we're going to get to see it. And I was like, oh my goodness. Yeah, I can't wait to see what new stamps are going to be out. You know what I've just realised about these tiny little stamps? They are great for filling those awkward silences. You know, <laughs> you know that whole like term, you know, awkward silence, you know, trying to fill a space. And this is what these little stamps are really great at doing where you've, you know, you've kind of stamped random-ish and then you've ended up maybe with the odd gap in places or something that you need to hide or... You know, you've got a random branch starting in the middle of the page. You know, you know things like that. This is what these little stamps are great for when you're doing this kind of work. Okay, so don't underestimate them. Okay, are we ready to reveal? Anna says, "I want all the pretty things. Come to me, my precious, my precious pretties." 
Well, the way to save guys who are interested in starting a hobby with stamping, the way to really save some pennies is to join. So have a, have a chat to whoever your demonstrator is. Obviously, if you shop with me, talk to me about it. But if you shop with somebody else, have a chat to them. Because um, if you want to invest a few pennies, it's, it's worth kind of thinking about the most cost effective way to do it. I mean, the most cost effective way to do it is actually to sell some products too. Because when you sell products, it means you get a commission and then you can buy buy more. So have a think about it. Right. Now, there is something bugging me before I reveal. And it's the fact that I've got some little bits of purple here. But I haven't got purple anywhere else. So I am wondering whether to use my other favourite little stamp out of here if I can find it this little weird dotty thing that reminds me of like a skin condition when you see it I think you'll understand what I mean like every time I look at it I get a skin reaction I'm wondering whether to put a little bit of purple in the centres of these flowers here You have exactly the same birth. Yeah, when you see me stamp it, you'll go, oh yes, I've had one of those. <laughs> like a little, it's just these little raised, oh, I know what, let me get a bit of plain paper. <laughs> that, you see that? That little dotty, like who's ever had that on their skin? Okay, so this is super subtle, but it's just, what's the word? Ticking the box, crunching the biscuit. Like, what else? Ringworm, yes, ringworm, that's it. The little ringworm thing that you can get. There's a little fungal infection going on on my, my creation today. Ah oh dear. Okay, so for those of you who are new to my channel, you will get used to my humour. Or where my mind goes with these things. I do apologise. So who's new watching for the first time on my live? I forgot to welcome people. You are, of course, all welcome. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, right, have I missed any? No. Okay. <gasps> okay, okay, okay. Float my boat. That's it. It's floating my boat. <clears throat> this is when I realised that I put it on wonky. <laughs> okay, let's go right up high. Let's get it all in. Let's get it all in. Right. I know what. Let's take that away as well. I meant as the one you have on yours. Oh, my. What do you mean? <clears throat> Oh, a birthmark. Ah, yeah, this is a mole that I've had for ages and I do keep my eye on it in case it grows. Yeah. Right. So thanks to my friend Tracy, she sent me this masking stuff. Um, I'm going to put it back on this piece of plastic so I can use it again. Now I didn't end up sponging, maybe I should have, I'm looking at it now going, mm. finally says Sheila, finally, yes, you've been very patient, <laughs> every time I've gone to take it off I've gone, <gasps> just one more thing, just one more thing, uh, right, let's make, get my brush. Let me brush what colour have I used on there last? Oh, pink. No, 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 no. No, no, no. We don't want pink. A 
Okay, I want something quite subtle, so... Oh, no, actually, no, I won't go for green. I'm going to go for crushed curry. I reuse my silhouette transfer tape. Oh, that's a good idea. For those of you who've got silhouettes and things. Now, I should be a good girl and put this all back on, shouldn't I, really? Okay, let's just do a little bit of just around the edge of the mask because there are some areas that haven't been inked that fall just where the mask is. So when I pulled it off, it, it lacked a bit of definition. So you wouldn't believe that I was just doing this little bit of sponging or blending, whatever you want to call it. You wouldn't believe the difference it makes. So if you're at this point in the video and you want to check that I'm speaking truth, truth Ruth then just literally go back two minutes and you'll see the difference <sighs> there we go good morning miss Ellen there we go that's better isn't it there we go much brighter There we go, that's my Easter wreath stroke contemplative piece, whatever you want to call it really. Right, there we go guys, thank you so much for joining me for this one. That took about, an, yeah, so I've been on for about an hour. Frame it in a dark brown wooden frame. Yes, I'm going to have to... F well, I was going to say I'm going to have to find one, but it's a bit tricky now at the moment with all the shops closed and everything. So, um... I have got a white spare white frame. But, um, oh, actually, it's a white frame with a brown... That it'll end up with a brown section around it that I'm afraid it's that is what's gonna have to be because the shops are shut at the moment I might be able to order one but um, yeah it would make sense if I could put wood but I think that is we'll have to be content with what we have because look it's got it's got a bit of this brown chip stuff So that'll do, won't it? It gives it a nice bit of contrast and it picks out the soft suede there. So there we go. That'll do. What could I do? Do something with crumb cake? Who said that? Cover it with crumb cake. Yeah, this is plastic, unfortunately. Um, I wonder if I could use my stamping blends. I wonder if I could colour it in with my alcohol pen. I might be able to do that. Yeah, I could paint this a darker colour. Yep. Yep. There we go. Right, I will try and take photos um, and put this on my blog. I'm really behind on blogging photographs at the moment, guys. I'm afraid. So, um, it was fairly sunny here today, even though it was a bit colder than yesterday. So we, we sat out for lunch this afternoon which was nice. So we're getting some fresh air. Right, lots of love to you all. Don't forget, um, if you would like to shop for any of the products you've seen me use today, please head to artfulstampin.co.uk if you're in the UK or in Germany, France, Austria and Aus Aus uh, Holland. And 
Um, if you love, if you like watching my videos and you can't shop with me, but if you ever want to just help to support my channel, then please head to my PayPal page. Um, it's basically paypal.me forward slash, I think, Artful Stampin', I think. But the links are in the description below. So, um, but as always, I also always appreciate you guys sharing out these videos with anybody that you know who would like them. Uh, it's always great to meet new people and I know over the last few weeks there have been new people joining in and watching so that's really lovely. Please make yourself known. Um, it's always great to say hi to, to new folks. So um, there we have it. Take care for now guys and uh, have a blessed lead up to Easter. Um, I, know if not, not, I know not all my viewers um, celebrate it but for those of you who do... Um, May it be a blessed week. Okay, lots of love to you all. Bye.